Kia ora koutou. This is a complex numbers question for my friend Natalie that I found really difficult, more difficult than I should have found it because I wasn't kind of getting through it and then looking at whether my solution made sense. So if you're in my 13 MCA class, I want you to have a really good go at this question now before you watch me doing it. So just pause the video and try and work your way through. It looks pretty innocuous. It's just got a little bit of a twist in it compared to the kind of matchy matchy complex numbers questions that we see in achieved and low merit questions. It's a little bit harder than that. So we're going to start by substituting in z equals a plus bi and we know that we have to end up with this stuff on the left hand side equaling 1 plus i. And right at the start, I'm going to just draw a, an argon diagram. So there's x and y, or this is the real part of z, and this is the imaginary part of z, and this number here is 1 plus i. And that to me really helped me see what I was missing in my second step. Okay, so z is a plus bi, we've got 1 over a plus bi plus 2 over a minus bi is equal to 1 plus i. I'm going to do this part quite quickly. Uh, I'm just going to get a common denominator like this. So we're going to have up in the numerator a minus bi plus 2a plus 2bi, and that has to equal 1 plus i. But this happily is a nice real number, so we get 3a plus bi over a squared plus b squared equals 1 plus i. So far pretty good. Now we have 3a plus bi is equal to, so multiplying both sides by this, I'm going to have a squared plus b squared times 1 plus i, which gives me a squared plus b squared plus a squared plus b squared i. And now we're going to match. And usually when we do this step, we're going to get some nice combo of really easy simultaneous equations, right? So it doesn't quite work here. We get 3a squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, cool, cool. And then we get b is also equal to a squared plus b squared. Now that's happening because our complex number up here is 1 plus i, right? So the real part and the imaginary part are the same. And what that means is that we get to 3a equals b. So we kind of go, oh, maybe I'm done. Maybe 3a plus b is it. When that happens, it's, I think, always worth checking that you really are done. So let's just pick a number. Let's say let a equal 1. So b is equal to 3. And that gives me z is equal to 1 plus 3i. And you should be starting to see that it just doesn't feel like you can just randomly pick a number here, do stuff to it, and have it always end up equaling that. So I'm going to do this example, and we're going to see that we haven't finished the question. So 1 over um, 1 plus 3i plus 2 over 1 minus 3i is going to give me 1 plus 9. So that's this times this. And then I'm going to have 1 minus 3i plus 2 plus 6i, which gives me 3 plus 3i over 10. So you can see that that does not equal 1 plus i. So we're not done. What else can I do? All right, let's go back up here. We've got this condition now, 3a equals b. And we know that, that 3a has to equal b, but also that this has to be true. All right, so we did all that stuff, and we already found that 3a plus bi over a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 plus i. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace b with 3a, and then I'm going to go ahead and solve. So moving over here, we've got, uh, what have I got? 3a plus bi over a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 plus i. So 3a plus b is equal to 3a, 3ai over a squared plus 3a all squared has to equal 1 plus i. And that gives me 3a over, so here we've got a squared plus 9a squared, so we get 10a squared plus 3a over 10a squared i has to equal 1 plus i. And now you can see that we are pinning ourselves down to a unique solution. We've got 3 over 10a has to equal 1, and we get that from both of these bits, right? So the coefficient, well not the coefficient, but the the i bit and the real bit both give me that. So now 3 is equal to 10a, and a is equal to 3 tenths, which gives me b 
is equal to 3 times that, which is 9 tenths. So my number has to be z is equal to 3 tenths plus 9 tenths i. And if you chuck all of that back in, you'll find that when we do 1 over z plus 1 over z bar is equal to 1 plus i, well, of course it's going to work because that's how we solved the problem, right? But, um, yeah, I just think that, that it's sometimes hard to see when you've got right through the question, but here we really are looking for a unique numerical value of A and of B. Thanks for watching. I hope that made sense. The other way that you can think about it, which was the first way that I did when I was kind of actually getting stuck on this, was that I thought about the magnitude and I tried to work with the magnitude. So, but that was really, really unnecessary. That was more complicated than I needed to go. But if you were going to do it that way, what you could do is you'd work with the magnitude of whatever we had here, so 3a plus bi over a squared plus b squared is equal to the magnitude of 1 plus i. And of course you're going to get to the same thing, right? Magnitude here is root 2, blah, blah, blah. So that worked as well, but a much messier way to do it than the way that I just did it now. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully if you're in my class you found this question okay, just um, let me know. If you've got any more questions on it or any other complex numbers questions that you're revising that you want me to do a video of.